Is Ledger's new Ledger Stacks the iPod of crypto? This was designed by famous Apple designer Tony Fidel, who is dubbed as the father of the iPod. This thing is beautiful, sleek, aesthetic, but is it worth it? And I'm going to keep this simple. The major upgrade from the Ledger Nano X to the Ledger Stacks is the design. It is a bigger screen that's also a touchscreen. But in terms of capabilities, it's not that much different. Where, for example, the upgrade from the Ledger Nano S series to the Ledger Nano X added Bluetooth. So now people could connect their Ledger Nano to an iPhone or an Android without having to use a cable. And there are more cool features of the Ledger Stacks. We also will do a quick review of all the Ledger products to help you decide which one is right for you. And if it does help you, I do have a link down below. It is no extra cost to you but it really does help support the channel and I really do appreciate it. Now back to Ledger Stacks, it has a customizable lock screen. So for example, you can put a picture of your NFT on the lock screen. Also, it has a curved e-ink display. E-ink is similar to what's used in a Kindle. It is very low energy usage. So the battery life for the Ledger Stacks can last for many months on standby. Ledger Stacks also has wireless charging, which is definitely a big deal for many people. Ledger Stacks also has embedded magnets. This is why it's called Ledger Stacks, because you can actually take these devices and stack them on top of each other. I think this is a cool feature, but it's not absolutely needed. I don't really see people walking around, you know, with five or six of these Ledger Stacks putting them together. But there may be some of you watching that may get two or three of these devices and maybe you'll have one for NFTs, one for your crypto that you're active with and one for the crypto that you're holding for the long term. So a cool feature, but not absolutely needed. And in terms of coin support, all ledgers have support for the same tokens, whether it's a Ledger Nano S Plus, Ledger Nano X or the Ledger Stacks. Like I said earlier, the real upgrade for the Ledger Stacks is a design. It is a bigger screen, it is customizable, and it just looks beautiful. So I put ledgers into two categories. Ledgers for people that are not out and about and ledgers for people that are out and about on the go. So if you're someone who's not very active with interacting with your ledger and you're just gonna use it at home, the Ledger Nano S Plus will be perfect for you. You don't need anything extra. But if you are someone who is out and about on the go, then the Ledger Nano X or the Ledger Stacks will be a better option as it has Bluetooth and you can easily connect it to an iPhone or an Android. So which one is better? Well, of course, the Ledger Stacks. But the real question is, which one is better for the price? So the Ledger Stacks is $279 and the Ledger Nano X is $149. So really what you're paying for for the Ledger Stacks is the design, the aesthetic, a bigger, more beautiful screen. But in terms of capability, they support the same coins. They both connect to iPhones and Androids. So if you are on a budget and you want to use one with your iPhone or you're out and about on the go, the Ledger Nano X will do you just fine. And the Ledger Stacks right now is only available for pre-order. They will start shipping out around March of 2023. And if you do get a new hardware wallet, even from a different brand such as Trezor, how easy is it to carry your crypto over onto the new device? Well, it's very easy because when you get a new hardware wallet, instead of creating a new seed phrase, instead, choose the option to restore wallet. Enter your seed phrase from the previous wallet and all of your crypto will be carried over into your new device. And these seed phrases that we receive from Ledger, where do they even come from? Are they safe? Are they secure? Well, if you want to know more about these seed phrases from Ledger and how they're generated, go ahead and watch this video right here.